Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm gonna to show you how you can digitize or put your 35 mils onto your computer, like scanning them using just the film itself, a piece of plastic, your tablet or your phone and an old picture frame. Really easy to do. Oh, and the use of the camera, simple. So how does this work? Well, basically you're gonna take your iPad or your tablet, whatever it is, set it down and that's going to work as your light box. So what you need to do here is you're going to open it like this and you are going to go to, if you go to Google and you're going to have a white background. So I just search for white background. I save the image as an image. Then I just go to photos and I open up the white background. This is now my light box. So I pop this down here underneath my camera like so simple. I then need a piece of white plastic because if you don't use this, you can see all the pixels that come through the iPad through your slide, which isn't ideal. So I take a, this is just a piece of plastic from a plastic bag. I cut it out and I stick that on the top of the iPad like so. The next thing, the picture frame, what do you do here? Well, you need the piece of glass from it. Basically, that's all you need. So you open it like so found the piece of glass. Everybody's got this around the house, which is why I used it. And basically you just take this and you set it on top, which will flatten that piece of plastic like so. Then all you need to do is you take one of your slides. I'm going to choose uh, this one, which is a picture of myself and my niece and you put it on top like so. Job done. And that's how you've created your light box, which shows the light through the side and then you can take the exposure from above. That's an email. You can actually do this the same with an iPod or iPhone or any phone at all. It doesn't have to be an app, Apple product. And basically that would be your light box like so and you just sit it on. I use the iPad as it's a little bit more stable and more sturdy and it's Ooh, it really is that simple. So it goes on there and then what you have to do is go over to your camera and you figure out your settings. So you're going to focus. Now I actually use um, live view for this. So I'm going to pull in here, focus in all the way and make sure I'm really sharp. Simple. When I've done that, I'm going to take it off auto focus and put it on manual focus, which different cameras do it in different places. This is just on the side here. So this won't focus anymore. And then my settings, ISO 100, ISO 100, F 6.3, I want it to be, that's, that's really sharp with this lens. Now I'm using a Nikon 105 macro lens so I can get nice and close. You can basically use any lens as long as you can focus in close. Um, it's going to be one fourth of a second or one quarter of a second. Now I'm actually, uh, shooting tethered with this onto my computer. So all I have to do is hit go and then you've captured the image and all you have to do is slide it along to the next one, take a photograph to the next one and take a photograph. And that's basically how I'm going to get all of my images digitized and then put on my computer. Now stick around for the next video because I'm going to show you how you can convert these because obviously they are the negatives, how you can get the color correction correct, how to invert using Photoshop or Lightroom really quick, really easily digitize and basically it costs you nothing. It's just using objects from around your house. If you've liked this video, please thumbs up to this one and like it and also subscribe to my channel wherever that is and stay tuned for more videos on with lots of how to's. Thank you very much.